Hey guys, my name is Chabim, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove dynamic lighting from your Forge maps. And this might be useful for some of you, and maybe some of your competitive maps, or flood maps, or really anything. But maybe you could use it to light up an object in a room, and everything else is really dark. Or maybe you just don't like dynamic lighting on certain maps. Like, I know Erosion, in my opinion, has the worst dynamic lighting. It doesn't always work properly, so maybe you want to get rid of it entirely and as you can see here I have a fully lighted up area and then I have a really dark area over there so you can see um, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this and basically every object on this side of the room is put on spawn time one and place at start false and basically what this how this works is uh, when your map is loading up that's when it generates the dynamic lighting and all the objects are already there but uh, once the countdown timer starts for your map then these objects start coming into your map and you want to have it below around five seconds because that's usually what the timer is before match to be safe I would just have it at one second because sometimes there's a little delay so that's how you have it um, not have dynamic lighting and you can see here these ones are on spawn time never and then place that start true so those will be appearing as the map loads up and you can see here those are the uh, objects without dynamic lighting and you can see even in a custom game here's how it works just to show you some proof of it here's the light area and behind me is the dark area so hope this can help you in some of your competitive maps maybe any other type of map but I think this would be really useful for some competitive maps it would make some some of them look a lot nicer and get rid of some of the bad textures that the shadows give and as always like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. You sexy beast.